the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord. Once again, welcome to Seek Holy Spirit from Divine Retreat Center, Toronto, Canada. We had a problem in one of our centers where there were some kind of accusations about our land, our property and our mission that was going on. And those who were fighting against us, they refused to talk to us, refused to communicate. We started to pray. While we prayed unceasingly, the Lord gave us a word of God from Psalm 106 verse 46. Psalm 106 verse 46. He caused them to be pitied by those who held them captive. He caused them to be pitied by those who held them captive. That means God can cause pity and compassion in the hearts of those who persecute you. So when we prayed, God gave us this revelation and we started to pray for those who persecute us. And eventually those people contacted us, apologizing it was their mistake because God opened their eyes. God melted their hearts. You may be going through a silent persecution. You may be going through an oppression in your office, in your workplace, in your school, in your hospital, wherever you work. Please never be discouraged. Never fight physical battles because ours is a spiritual battle. Pray to the Lord. God can cause compassion in the heart of your manager who is persecuting you, in the heart of your employer who is tormenting you, and then you will become a new creation. This comes through the Holy Spirit. May the good Lord bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.